Well, I don't think I don't know if we'd be human if we were never going to die. <laughs> Uh, but death is not the real issue for religion. I think issue, religion is about limitations and borders, and death is simply the most is the most radical of limit situations that we encounter. This is another idea from Peter Berger. Uh, his whole book on on the, on the sacred canopy, which I referred to earlier, is really about uh, how human societies confront the reality of death, and religion is one of the most powerful antidotes to the reality of death. Uh, it relativizes death in many ways, but I don't think death is the ulti death is the ultimate limit. But it's limitation, which is w what religion is about: Relig limitations on our power, on our capacity to satisfy our appetites, on our capacity to control weather, to control anything at all, to control even ourselves. Uh, religions, I think, are about loss of control and the attempt to gain control. And death is the most uncontrollable thing. But it's not the only uncontrollable thing, and, and uh, religions are about control. We have this other world that impinges on ours, and in order to control events in our world, we seek access to powers that are in that world. So I think control is very crucial as a, as a, uh, a, a the cause of religion, if you will. I hate to use that term, but I think religion is is a, is a very is, is grounded in the need for control of our, of our life and our hopes. And the death is, so to make it a long story short, if we weren't going to die, there would still be other limitations. We would still get ill. Are you going to say, well, we would invent a, a, a way not to get ill? Well, there'd be some other limitation. We couldn't sexualify, sex, satisfy all our sexual appetites. So there, there'd be all kinds of limits even if death were taken away as a limit, which I can't imagine would ever happen. Uh, so, certainly, if there were no death, religions would be different. I go that far. Uh, but uh, would there be religion or things like religion? I'm, I'm certain there would be. Because we are not infinite. We're not omnipotent. We're not all-powerful. And existence forever is, as certain short story writers have told us, is a curse. <laughs> so then we would have to be, deal with the curse of, of infinite existence. You know, I, I think of Jorge Luis Borges and, and others who have written on this kind of subject. Uh, if you think about it, mortality is no, no great thing. <laughs> exactly, there's limitations of personal experience, of, of intelligence. These are all absurd borders. We, we, we exist in our world absurdly limited in many, many ways. This is sort of an existentialist idea from the 50s, but uh, it still works. I mean, Heidegger comes out of this. Uh, but the idea is that our humanness is grounded in our limitations. Death for Heidegger was the ultimate limitation. And for others, and uh, being is being in the face of death. And, but it's really being in the face of limitation. Okay, we, we are what we are. We're born here, not there. This, gen this sex rather than that sex. Uh, this race rather than that race. In this continent rather than another. And uh, all of these are radically define who, who we can become. And they're totally absurd. So anybody who reflects on these things comes up against limit. Which is where religion is. Religion lives at the, at the domain of limit.